Hey guys, I'm Ross Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Tales from the Borderlands. Uh, Telltale's the Tale from the Borderlands series. Um, where we last left off was that we started episode 3. Um, we got away from... Danger, I guess I would call it? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to say it, because... We killed Vasquez, or we didn't kill Vasquez. We injured him really badly, aka removing his arm. And then Valerie killed Vasquez pretty much for us, which is great. Um, but then August got away unharmed, but is now siding with Valerie. But at the same time, uh, we have Athena and the gorgeous little robot, which is was which was the sphere that we had in the last <laughs> in episode two. But the Gordas project ended up being a Gordas robot, and the robot wasn't done yet because the upgrades were missing for the robot pieces. Um, and Atlas had it left over somewhere else in another place, so we took a road trip to there. Um, and then Handsome Jack and Reese basically talked together. We chose to not trust Jack in the last episode, if you missed that one. Um, and uh, yeah, that was the end of what happened. We're here at the um, place Did that- Did you recognize any of these plants? No. Actually. But yeah, we're here at the plant life area dome thing, the dome life thing, uh, where supposedly Gordis's project stuff is in here, apparently. So, I don't know. Don't know what to expect. But this plant looks really cool. I'm guessing Jack... Okay, alright. Here we go. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm guess So, do it. I'm not afraid. That's what you're wondering. Okay, go on then. I'm going. I am going to touch it. Oh, he no wants to touch it. stopping you. Well, good, because you would not be able to stop me at this point. Don't e huh. don't try to hold He's me really back. Frozen. I mean it. I'm not. Great, huh. because cool. you, you 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 wouldn't be able to. I'm strong, and I'm going to touch this <laughs> because I'm very spontaneous that way. I'll just hey, that's what are you what are you looking at? Vaughn says he's gonna touch this gross-looking plant. <laughs> uh, actually, Reese, could you scan that? Yeah, I I'm can. not scared of it. I just want to know for science. All right, let's scan it for Vaughn. What the hell, Jack? Jack, a pe oh no, Jack is gonna screw us up every time. Plant, probably. I don't know. I don't. I didn't become rich so I could know stuff. Plant again. Only if you want to get really high and then really die. But hey, it's pretty foul and stinky, so it makes a great birthday gag. So? What'd you see? Jack screwed it up for me. So? Ooh, yeah, you don't want to touch that. It looks like you'd be sticking to stuff for like days. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. It's... Ah, worse. What do you mean? It makes it stinky. He, he's gonna become freaking stinky as hell. Also, I'm kind of curious right now. I want to see what Jack is doing. Sasha's 24. Hey, that's actually my age. <laughs> that's interesting that she's a- I thought Sasha was like 19 or 20 or something. She looks a bit more younger. But maybe because it's like a little different, I guess. Occupation, bandit. I don't think she's actually a bandit though. Hometown is hollow point. Hotness is 8 out of 10. Why, Jack? Why do you do this to me? If you try to do anything, let's say untoward with her, I'll see it. So keep it in your pants unless you're into people watching or whatever. I see. So Jack actually knows if I'm, if Reese is actually horny or not. Not me. Reese. <laughs> All right. What is Jack going to say about Vaughn? Vaughn's 27. Okay. I, I didn't even know he was 27. I thought Vaughn was like 24. Four or something. <laughs> See, everybody's like three ages younger in a way because they all look kind of like that for some reason. Best asset abs. <laughs> uh, accountant still. Hotness 7 out of 10, mainly because of the abs. Okay, fair point. Jack, stop staring at my abs. Paraphrase from what I imagine he'd say if he could see me. Probably. Alright, let's walk forward to Fiona and Athena. Alrighty, I guess we're forced to move forward now at this point. What is this? Let's see what the crystals are. I hate that the Echo Eye is no longer able to see the things that I need to see. Calio Crystallum. Hardness. 
Dick Rocks street name. Why is the street name Dick Rocks? What? <laughs> For reals, they're the primary ingredient in Engorge, a medical supply that supplement that I have never used. <laughs> don't even know what it is. Why I am even saying any of this? Well, because you're in my echo eye. So screw you, Jack. Screw you. This place is cool. But does it have the thing you need? So, how do we get in? Yeah. I thought you destroyed everything, Atlas. Huh. Guess I missed this one. What would you have done if you'd found it? Reduce it to rubble, grind the rubble to dust, kill everyone inside. I feel like this has to be the most exciting thing I've ever done. But then again, I haven't really done much. Like almost nothing. I was a handwreck. I'm a Helios. Aww. Don't say that. Oh, jeez. The communication with that thing is still broken. Dang it. Alright, let's talk to Vaughn at least. Hey Vaughn, this Atlas plays pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, you, you, you okay? Yeah, you're right. Can we just find a way into the dome? Is he worried about something? I'm kind of curious why Vaughn is like so edge on edge about things. Are my two favorite robots? You guys having a good time together? Huh? Exchanging oil recipes or whatever you talk about? <laughs> yes, I'm learning so much about how you dropped a fake ball key, how you lost ten million dollars, and how. Gee, thanks. I cannot hold back your tide of bad decisions. Thanks a lot. Just want to make sure both of you were good. Been a crazy day, am I right? No? Huh? You are very right. <clears throat> Wait, you're not being sarcastic, are you? Why would I? <clears throat> wow, I am so not used to this. It's kind of refreshing. In a weird way, yes. LB, your joints holding up okay in this cold? This unit's aftermarket parts are holding up adequately. Mm. <laughs> right. Jesus. Why the hell do I keep getting messages? Alright, well, I'm getting email, actually, so there's nothing much. Hey, robots. Uh, what you doing? Have you found my upgrade yet? Not yet. No. Oh, I see. We'll be hey, searching. I'll keep looking. We'll, we'll, we'll find it. Yeah. No worries. Alright. Um, we're gonna continue searching. <laughs> you guys let me know if you find anything, alright? I'm gonna keep poking around. Alright, so that's that. Let me check up this plant, though. I want to see the large mushroom somehow. It's interesting how we're just looking at these things. We're just not, like, doing anything. God dang it. Freaking Jack is literally touching Vaughn for some reason. Boletus Musiska. It plays music if it gets wet. So long as nobody's watching. I'm kind of curious about what that means. Music, it sounds like someone trying to recreate a classical concerto using only mouth farts. Oh, okay, I see. Crappy Atlas robot. Not really, it's just dumpy. Gift from your best pal, Jack. You could sit on it, I guess. Curl it at, at people? Doorsteps? I don't know. Don't bother thanking me, it's my gift to you. I don't know about that. Tree mushrooms, I don't know. Uh, it's a mushroom that glows. Why do you keep looking at these things? Who cares? It's a goddamn mushroom. Just talk to somebody. Shoot something. I'm going out of my mind here. <laughs> Jack. Modified bullholder. Uh, how the hell should I know? Really messed up. Happy I wasn't alive to see these things gain sen sentience. I'd be up to my hairs, plug in reckless endangerment lawsuits. Okay. Already, why the hell am I looking at her again? Or scanning her again? Don't know. Killer plant. Classification, cool. Status, I want one. Give me one. <laughs> Average lifespan, give me one. I, I want to feed orphans to it. God dang it. Alright, well. Want to back out? 
I'm gonna talk to Sasha or look at what Sasha's doing. What were you staring at me for? What? You weren't, like, scanning me or something, were you? As you looked like you were having fun. It was nice. <laughs> Don't get creepy on me now. Sorry, jeez. But do be careful, though. That thing will bite. <laughs> Wait, what the heck is that? Is that a lever? Hello? How do we get you open? Where is Athena and Fiona, actually? I'm actually noticing that they're not in my view of talking to... Yeah, they're not in my view of talking to. For some reason, I can't see where Athena and Fiona went. Where the heck did those two go? They were ahead of us earlier, right? What the heck? Where did the other two go? The other two were like talking and talking and talking. And I was like, wait, what the hell, dude? So I can't even go. Can I not go this way? I can. There we go. I wanted to talk to these, talk to these two at least. And then I didn't also get to see the worm plant though. Interesting worm plants. They don't look like worms to me. They just look like coral. Let's talk to Athena. What the hell is this place? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't like it. Reeks of Atlas smugness and self-satisfaction. What did they do to you, dude? I just feel like they just literally, like, I don't know. All right, let's scan some stuff here. Oh, Fiona's 29. Holy crap, she doesn't look 29. If 26, it would be fine, but... I don't think she's 29. I don't think so. Whoever made these ages are beyond me three ages and above. Like, literally, their ages are three years younger than what I anticipate. Or three years young, or older than I anticipated. Why is it this? Whoever made these ages are ridiculous. I swear to you. I swear to you this age is not correct. In all means. By all means. Age is 29. Hollow Point. Hometown. Bandit. Occupation. Well, the, the occupation said... Con woman back then, so I don't think it's bandit. Nine out of ten hotness. I I I agree. I agree. Not 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 against that. Don't try to sleep with her. Why? I don't know why. I just get the feeling that be weird. It'd be, yeah. Just don't do it. Weird. Freaking Jack. I just wish Jack wasn't in my brain so that he can tell his so that he doesn't objectify me to believe his ways. But it looks like we will probably accidentally. Or not accidentally, but like think the same way he does, I guess. Athena, I want to say early 40s. Is that way off? Yeah, so it's judged on Jack's age perception, I guess. It looks more like it. Because a lot of these ages didn't make sense to me in general. So maybe it is Jack's perception on who's whose age, I guess. Athena should be in her 30s still, I feel like. Because she's been through a lot of the Vault Hunter land, and I mean, like, Brick doesn't look any older either. Like, by the time of Borderlands 1 Game of the Year edition, uh, Brick was probably, like, in his 20s, like, 24, 25-ish. And so, a couple years later would be, like, 30-ish. Like, Brick should be in his 30s, and Athena should be, yeah, like, early 40. Yeah, it makes sense. Never mind, yeah, it would be. But she looks quite young still. Like, Athena looks pretty young still, no matter what. Athena's probably, like, 40 something probably 40 like early 40s definitely because i know she was in borderlands 1 as well so former vault hunting badass current bandit she's not bandit she's just a lone western soldier thingy my bobber ex-soldier i guess i would call it kind of miss having her around she was really good at killing bandits and you just got to respect that all right seems like jack has something to say about that I think Jack has some respect for her, but he also doesn't want her to know that he's still around somehow. Handsome Jack's AI consciousness died of boredom today as his meat sack host, Reese, decided to stand around staring at goddamn mushrooms. He leaves behind a lot of money and a photo of his sack ass abs. Sick ass abs. Sack ass. I don't know why he's sack ass me. What the hell is a sack ass? <laughs> sick ass abs. Got it. Alright, let's go and pull this lever, I guess. I can't remove the rubble alone, I don't think, so... They're heavy, I don't know what you're doing. I'm surprised that it doesn't have a cue. 
like a Q quick time event. At first, thing. I thought it was too long to be a tie, and then I saw it tucked into his pants, and then I had no idea what was going on. You know what it is? It is a tie. I have concluded that most humans lack standard fashion circuitry. That's awful. Maybe someone should tell him. Wait, are you saying? Oh, I I think she's talking about me, or I don't. I think that <laughs> Gordis is talking about how Reese has like his tie all the way down to his pants, and it's probably his tie. <laughs> the bulge is probably not it. Yo, loader bot. Could you use a hand here, old amigo? My human needs me. My human needs me. Yeah, we need to remove the thing so we can get in there. Hey. What's hey. up, Vaughn? Hey, you you okay? Not really. Tell me. Do you remember back in junior year when we tried to get into that Kegatron 9000 party blowout smash? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I think a bunch of the guys that interned at Torg threw it? It was in the uh, Turbo Dorms. Well, you're gonna have to refresh my memory. We went to a lot of parties. Mm -hmm. Well, one of us did. Mm -hmm. That's fine if you don't remember. So we're in line, no invites, and you just say, play it cool. Hey, then, man, I remember this now. The, the bouncers, they were gonna let me buy, and you... Got stuck out on the curb. Yeah, that's right, that was me. Said they'd filled their nerd quotient. What? Hey, I didn't go in either. I'm not gonna leave my wingman behind. I was still really mad, though. I mean, you were just as much of a nerd as I was, which was hilarious. But you look like you do, so you could fake it. What? We were both wearing hackathon shirts. Yours was just all fitted and cool, and mine was... You know... <laughs> you just need to be more confident. Okay, you know... Fake it and... And no one will know the difference. Yeah, I remember your pep talks. I'm thinking about them a lot down here, actually. Mm. Down here in Pandora, I've seen how amazing you are at all this stuff. I mean, hanging out with vault hunters, crazy Atlas technology, fighting insane mobsters, and, and you've just been playing it totally cool the whole time. So I... I guess... Look. I'm not gonna get left out on the curb again, am I? No. You're still here, aren't you? Dude, you're not that person anymore, okay? If College Vaughn could see you now with all buff and he'd be stunned. Yeah. Poor little guy. Thinking all that cologne could hide his extra chin fat. <laughs> you're not even fat, excuse you're me. You're gonna be fine. Let's find this gorgeous whatever and get rich. <laughs> My okay? Hell yeah. Let's do this. Jesus. But yeah, Vaughn does need to be a little bit more confident. Almost hit her. Or hit Gordis. Sorry, I don't even know. I don't think robots have genders, so I don't know. I'm just saying her because it sounds like a lady, so. LB, your joints holding up okay in this cold? This unit's aftermarket parts are holding up adequately. Alright, so it's the same cult that we've <laughs> talked about. Right. Now let's talk to uh, Gordis one last time and then we should be done for now. And so we can pull the lever to get inside. For sure. So, how are you liking being alive so far? Technically, I'm not alive, but that's not what you meant, is it? No. Of course not. That'd be like asking a tree what it's like to breathe. That's just silly. What was the question again? <laughs> I honestly don't remember. How does it feel to be out and about, maybe, would be correct, maybe? Because Gordis was stuck in a ball-shaped form for, like, whatever years. Oh god, freaking Vaughn's body is being blocked in, blocking me for sure, whatever it is. Alright, let's pull it. Alright, we can finally get in now. Oh. Nice work. Thanks, Loaderbot. It wouldn't it wouldn't have been possible without you. Oh. So there's more to this dome that we need to get into, so... Okay. I'm still curious what's up. Awesome. There's probably more to this. Oh, no, you suck! <laughs> you suck. 
<laughs> we made it. Entrance this way. Yeah? Let's see what else this place has to offer. I don't know. It's funny because I'm treating Fiona less of a good eye dummy kind of thing. I was going to say that one. That one was so tempting to say good eye dummy, but I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't matter anyways, I feel like. All right. We're probably getting inside now for once. Finally. I'm sorry for wasting so much time scanning everything because it was interesting to scan everything and kind of see what Jack has to say, but point of no return. She even unlocked. Why is this no point in no return? Athena's also hooded this time. What the heck? Mm. Anyone else's creepometer going bananas right now? Um, maybe Dumpy could scout ahead. Don't treat scum. Don't don't treat Dumpy like that, man. Oh, ow. Aww. I guess that means we're safe then. Thanks, Mon. That's Go so sad. My upgrades nearby. Sorry, if it's kind of spooky in here. Makes sense, you considering. Know, just once, I'd like to search an abandoned health spa or something, with fluffy towels and celebrity magazines with pictures of them shopping and getting coffee and stuff. Gordis, can you scan the room for, you know, danger? Uh, could you please describe to me how you think that would work? Well, your sensors kind of like sweep the room's vectors. I mean, that was a totally valiant effort. <laughs> but no, it doesn't work like that at all. Well, we know your upgrade is nearby. Let's let's look around in here. Uh huh. Wait, we still have the eyeball. Why do we still have the eyeball, though? Excuse me. Okay, it's interesting, too, at the same time that we switch characters, though. Right, let's loot whatever is in here. Beep. Pshhh. Oh, never mind. That's a lot of money, though. Imagine we get 10 million right off the right off of collecting all the money that we found. Give us all the money. A lot of a lot of money. Oh, that's not a lot, to be honest. Any luck? No, but Reese found out where we are. Or at least what this place was. Some kind of top secret Atlas biodome. Not much else in the system. Oh. Any sign of the Gordas upgrade? Not yet. We'll keep looking. All right. I think the Gordas project is the uh, Gordas itself, the robot. The heck? What do you got? Clothes. Looks like someone was wearing this recently. I'm trying to think of who would wear this kind of outfit because this design the quality of design feels so familiar i don't know what 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 kind of character have like a striped shirt in the back it makes me think of ash from overwatch for some reason but it's not her it's it, because she's not in borderlands obviously but it's like I don't know. Well, let's talk to Reese anyways. Let's try talking to Find Reese. Find anything? Well, kinda. I mean, this place is Atlas, but it was some kind of terraforming facility. They were growing plants. I thought all you corporations were just about mass market destruction. I am not a corporation. And see, you learned something today. Yeah. What about Gordas's upgrade? Is it here? Well, nothing in the files yet, but... A lot of it's been deleted, what? so that probably says something. Why has it been deleted, though? Why would they even delete it, though? There's nobody here who would even take whatever it is in here. Mine is the upgrade, of course. Let's see if we can talk to other people here. Are you sure your upgrade is around here? I'm positive my energy chassis is here. Somewhere in the general vicinity. Ish. <laughs> we will find it. It will be glorious. Yes. Aww. Thank you. I'll just keep looking. Yeah. Let's see what Vaughn. Wait, Vaughn, why are you eating the I don't thing? I think the upgrades in one of those melons. Uh, I'm eating these because of hunger. Yeah. I know. I can oh, tell. Oh, right. Jokes. Zing. I don't think the upgrades in one of those melons. Oh, okay. Well, I can't uh, skip the dialogue. I'm eating apparently. these because of hunger. I'm just making sure to see if there was. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, right. Jokes. Jokes. Zing. Zing. I get it. All right, let's see if we can talk to Athena here, and then that will be the done for talking, I guess. Oh. What the fudge? Oh, there we go. Look at the fruit. Fresh fruit. I'm here. Find something? Yeah, no. Drake fruit stash. Like actual Drake fruit? Can I have some of it? Someone took a bite out of the only fresh piece. So sure, if you want cooties. I would suggest not giving it to them. To her. For some reason, the camera didn't change view for some reason. Nothing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at the plant, please. Ooh. Oh, bastard. So it's the little guy, the little version of the big plant eater thing. Atlas Extreme Latte 5000. Is it still working? <laughs> oh my god. Well, Atlas might be full of corrupt, murderous bastards, but they made the best lattes. <laughs> Athena? Probably not. Nope. Ugh. Damn Atlas. What? I just love how they're like food providers and yet. And yet, like, Athena has had to kill them anyways. Find anything? Not yet. This place is disconcerting. True. How so? It's Atlas, and nothing has tried to kill us yet. Well, the plants could be. I mean, one of them's the plant. But the plants haven't looked like they've learned of our presence being Anyone different. need some new gear? Any weapons? No, no, no weapons. It's an outfit. But there is stuff in here you guys might be interested in. I mean, it's an outfit changing... It's an outfit changing uh, machine, so... Wait, don't tell me I have to buy stuff. Debatable usefulness and coolness unquestionable. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually cool. Steampunk princess. Oh. Vaughn's glasses. Nerd chick is going up words. Interesting. I don't get what these things are for, though. I do not know. Style is hot. <laughs> no, I'm going to save my money, though. I, I would love to redesign stuff, but I like to keep myself pretty much hoarded with money, I guess. I'm kind of like that kind of guy who just hoards the money and everything on everything for whatever reasons. But I feel like there's probably a big reason why we're not needing to spend so much, though. All right, let's see what's the map. I think the technical term for this is highly goddamn suspicious. What's that? The map. map. Oh, what, what, what kind of map? Unclear. The markings on it seem deliberately obscure. Oh, how fun! Like a treasure hunt map! No, uh, Gordis. Yeah, Gordis, something like that. But it doesn't appear to lead to anything, so I doubt it has anything to do with your upgrades. Probably. This is weird. I think someone's been living here. Yeah. I mean... Don't worry so much. Maybe he'll be nice. Or she. Could always be a she. I mean... Oops. What? What happened? Bordis? Oh. Bordis! Don't kill me. Oh. It's not even a female. It's a guy. No idea. <laughs> please, please don't kill me. I, I, I have just been watching you. Just, just watching, that's all. I swear, I am completely harmless. Athena? There what do you think? There is absolutely no need for you to kill me. I, I assure you. Everything's okay. If you're not here to hurt us, we're not here to hurt you. Thank you for that. It is genuinely rare to encounter reasonable, somewhat intelligent-seeming people. Oh, God. That little robot's why we're here. There's an upgrade somewhere nearby. We're looking for it. Well, I, I, I can't help you with that. I know nothing about it. So, you should leave. We all should leave. All of us. Going our separate ways. I can leave right now, in fact. And if anyone asks, not that anyone would, of course. But I, I'll tell them. I'll say, I didn't see you. All right, two things. You're A, really weird. And B, obviously hiding something. 
What is it? Yeah, I'm kind of going to press him I, for it. I just, I, I, um... Just say it. Very well, young lady. You win. I'm on the run, you see. I have lost everything. My wife. My son. My cat. I did not lose them in that order, though. I, uh, I lost the... my wife first, then my cat, then my son. So, okay, we wife, get it. cat, son. Okay, we get you ever it. thought of becoming a professional storyteller? Because I gotta tell you, your sense for crucial information is just... Reese. Yeah, not now, please. Forgive me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed human contact. Uh, perhaps I've forgotten how to talk to people. You must understand, I've suffered months of wandering, isolation, skulking from one location to the next, broken, ashamed, homeless. What do you I mean homeless? to this place only minutes ago, so... I'd ask that you leave me now to my demons and go. What demons? You don't have any demons. That's a sad story, but I still don't trust him. Me neither. I do. Is that dumb of me? I found a stash of drake fruit. From where I'm standing right now, it kind of seems like you were eating some earlier today. Which makes your story of having just arrived here a little, you know, suspect. A little bit. Actually, you know what? Screw this guy. I mean, look at him. He can't even eat fruit without splashing juice all over himself. His clothes are terrible, and his cat probably sucked. What could he possibly know that would help us? <laughs> Let's get out of here. For your information, my clothes are entirely functional. Oh. And my cat may have sucked, but <laughs> he was the finest sucky cat on this godforsaken rock. <laughs> but you're right about the juice stain. That's totally indefensible. Okay, then what's your point? I'll tell you what you want to know. Follow me. Uh... I, uh... The bunker within that jungle. I suspect it contains the upgrade you're looking for. Then why the hell does... I wish I could tell you more about what's inside, but I was never brave enough to check. But why did Gordas say this the is right problem, here? Your problem is the Atlas automated security system that surrounds said bunker. Isn't it always? Mm -hmm. If I were you and... In this instance, I'm relieved I am not. I'd gain access to the security tower, which is... there. <laughs> I can get in and disable the security systems. Easy. Not easy. Not at all easy, but your best option nonetheless. Automated security system, huh? Huh. Just realized the acronym for that is ASS! Ha! What kind of defenses are we talking about here? Yeah. Oh, the usual medley of turrets and laser grids. Self-regulated, self-controlling, all lethal, of course. Reese, that sounds like something you can handle, right? Maybe. Please, in my sleep. So we're done talking, then? We can actually go secure this upgrade now? Fiona, while Mr. Robot Eye here hits the security tower and hacks the defenses, you and I will infiltrate the bunker and grab the upgrade. Sure. Let's get this gorgeous piece and get out of here, huh? Awesome. This is incredible. I mean, Athena's great. Confidence. That's good. I'll go with Reese and make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. It's a simple hack. You want to know how simple? I look at it and it hacks. No need to put yourself in danger. Oh, but she needs to watch this back. If it wasn't for me and Fiona, you'd be skag food. Hmm. How many times now? You need me. That's fine. Honestly, I feel like Sasha and Reese should be a thing in some ways. In a weird way, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to be here uh, hurting and doing stuff if anyone needs me. There's a lot of stuff I can do, right? Huh? I mean, I don't have a robot eye. I'm not a highly trained assassin. Also not particularly charming, but, but I can still do stuff. Keep an eye on the guy. Hey, do me a favor. Watch that guy. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Yeah. I doubt you could throw him at all. He's probably much heavier than he looks. That's kind of my point. Ah. Got it. All right. Everyone knows what they're doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and with a plan like this, what could possibly go wrong? Everything. 
everything can go wrong. I mean, honestly, this is we're still we're still in this episode where we haven't done too much yet. So, despite my incredible leadership efforts going unnoticed, Sasha and I went to go brave the catwalks and find the security station. Sure. <coughs> Ooh, ow. That's How painful. are you not permanently damaged from all this brain trauma? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. I've got a tough noggin. Just ask Vasquez. Or, never mind. <laughs> huh. 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 <laughs> perfectly fine, huh? No, he sees somebody has shot huh. something through that rock. God dang it. Oh, we're transitioning back to the story, I guess. Oh, wait, is it part of what happens here, I guess? What's up? <laughs> Athena's a little bit pissed about something. You're not as useless as I first thought. I mean, when I first saw you guys, I thought, wow, no wonder Hyperion isn't what it used to be. <laughs> Uh, I guess you're not so bad yourself. Thanks. <laughs> you know, when I first saw you at the deal with the uh, nose ring boy, I thought, uh, these two don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> you weren't wrong about that. Yeah, they were just doing whatever they needed to do, which is getting the deal done. I can't believe he pointed his gun at you back there. Yeah, mm -hmm. well... He wouldn't have pulled the trigger. Yeah. You he, sure about that? We know he wouldn't. Yeah. I saw it in his eyes. What's up? August was a mark. Nothing more, nothing less. Ooh. Nothing less? I don't know why I said that part. Felt like I was supposed to. You spend a certain amount of time with someone, you, you get to see a side of them you might not have been expecting. Okay. Oh, right. So what you're saying is he was really into guns. <laughs> exactly. Sure. I think that she... That, uh... Okay, but I'm going to pause here for now. I, I'm thinking that Reese probably didn't get the point of what she's trying to get across with the Mark thing. Um, I think he's just... Whatever with it, I guess. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it here for now. I kind of felt abrupt a little bit. It, although it ended the conversation at that point. Like, the, the conversation ended somewhat in that point. Kind of wanted to just hold back a little bit because I did go over time a little bit. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode are nobody minds. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can I oh, wonder watching this. In the next episode, we'll continue with Sasha and Reese as we are now. Um, at the same time, I'm kind of curious what we saw at the uh, whatever time period it was. The future, current, pa present day time period thing. Where Reese looked at the hole through the rock to wherever and... Fiona was doing the same, and then the freaking one-eyed dude did the same afterwards. It's funny. It's very funny, though. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious if the one-eyed guy will become the character that we see in Borderlands 3, because the character in Borderlands 3 also has a one-eyed guy, but he controls an animal as, like, a like a pal. But it would look... It, it's so cool if it's that guy, because I didn't expect to see that guy there. Um, like, I wouldn't expect that character to be playable later on. Because the guy is a bit of a toughy looking, so... And he's a pretty funny character, nonetheless. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see who he is later on, or as we go. Um, and if it's not, then it's it's a little bit disheartening, but it's fine, I guess. I, I, I can kind of get why it wouldn't exist in Borderlands 3 in general. But anyways, other than that, thank you guys for watching. And uh, that's it for me in this episode. And we will continue playing this right after the time of this video and whatever the other video is so yeah Roz out